The crazies are coming for you, and you gotta have a plan B. Whether it's random acts of government, what my job was yesterday is illegal tomorrow, or just the uh, classic corporate, oh, we're eliminating your department, good luck, or whatever else that might happen to you to disrupt you and put your you put you out of work and, and looking for a job, you need a plan B. And here at Stateless Code, I'm trying to provide you with that plan B. So if you're self-motivated, you're an autodidact, you want to learn how to give yourself options for your career, code along with me. You get, uh, programming is an in-demand skill it will continue to be an in-demand skill the more people talk about how the robots are going to take over and take all your jobs and everything the more opportunities there are for programmers you're not getting automated away people are always going to have a wish list and no company gets to the bottom of that wish list so uh, programming provides you with uh, an anti-fragile way that you can provide value for people. So if it's very hard to restrict uh, in reality, so uh, programming, you, you can use a VPN or whatever, get a, across border and country and state and whatever other nonsense restrictions that people who think they uh, ought to have a monopoly on force have, coding will give you that ability to, uh, to to have a plan B, have something to fall back on, provided that you don't have such a colossal collapse that you lose electricity in society or something like that. There'll be somebody somewhere in the world that you can provide value to. Um, and w with the, the rise of cryptocurrency, other ways of, um, of working, the, the, the hold of that, uh, states and governments on your professions are going to um, to wither away. So have something ready to fall back on the next time that you get fired for, you're in danger of getting fired for uh, accidentally using language that was fine last week but is out of bounds next week, um, all this other stuff. Now you'll have, uh, build, build a skill set, build a portfolio, code along with me so that you have options. Um, we live in times of great uncertainty and the more options you have and the more value you can provide, the more ways you can, different ways you can provide value, that's only going to help you. So do, do follow along, commit your code, put it out to GitHub so that you've got, you, you're building a, a portfolio. So somebody asks, well, what can you code? You can say, all right, I've got it all out in public. You can look at it and examine, examine it yourself. Um, I can provide value here. And uh, there's nothing stopping you except for the opportunity cost. So if you are dedicated and you want to become a good programmer, start with with video one in our Ruby gem series, learn, learn how to, to do some Ruby or we'll wind up branching out, doing some JavaScript stuff, doing some Salesforce stuff, doing some, I've been doing mostly so far pure Ruby, but we'll, we'll wind up doing some stuff with Ruby on rails. Um, just, um, make yourself more anti-fragile for the future by learning to code. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.